Hey folks, what is up? J Chen TV again. Um, so recently I've gotten to this new thing called Tak Tak Kayaks. So they are foldable kayaks and I think they really work very well in the water. I tried to use it to fish and one of the things I realized is that uh, the kayak is very light and so if you're going out fishing on a windy day, uh, it gets blown a lot, around a lot, making it hard to fish. So I was just, you know, tying my uh, hooks. I was just, you know, de-hooking uh, a fish, and I realized that, you know, the wind was just so strong, uh, and it, the boat is just easily blown around. So by the time I'm done with my, you know, uh, tying of the hooks or de-hooking the fish, I was blown, you know, into the reeds. And so I look for a solution uh, to create an anchor system for the kayak. And after looking at several videos, this is what I've come up with. I'm going to show it to you today. Um, this is a anchor system that relies on uh, a quick release system. And uh, you would also see that the anchor line is actually at the back of the boat. And this is done for a special reason so that, you know, uh, when casting or fishing, you don't have to worry about the hook getting hooked up on your anchor line. So let us just get right into that. Let me show you how I made this anchor system on the Tak Tak kayak. So folks, I have my Tak Tak over here. The first thing that you need for this anchor system is I got this Velcro uh, loop thing. Uh, and you can actually get this from Home Depot. It's called Keeper. Um, I believe it's about, uh, I'm not sure what the price is. I couldn't remember, but I'll post it on the link. And so what I do over here is attach it to a piece of anchor line. You can use any nylon line. And this line is about, I believe, eight feet. And the length, the ideal length is such that you want it to be long enough so that it could come to the front and then you could actually uh, tie it on this uh, anchor cleat here, right? And so for the anchor cleat, I've looked around for different um, ideas and solutions and I found this to be the best. This is a Yak Attack um, track. I bought this on uh, Amazon. I got the 4 inch one. Uh, and after looking at different ways of mounting, I thought mounting it at the side here is possibly the best. Uh, because you really want, when this um, anchor system is set up, you want the line to be by the side. You don't want it to be in a top like this because if it's in the top like this, it's gonna the line is going to get through to you and so it's not ideal. So we want it to be here. So I bought this on Amazon and to go with that, I bought this anchor cleat here, what it does and I could show you very quickly. So after you loosen it up, you can actually put it in here. And the other thing to do is just tighten up here. And so this thing would just stay stable. And I've used this, you know, on the water already and it works really well. So there you go. You can actually get different versions of the clip. You know, the zigzag one will work. The one that I chose is this Yak Attack one, uh, which I saw another YouTuber using i thought yeah I mean, might as well just go with the same one so basically after you have set up your uh, anchor you want to loop this line around you know put it back like that so that it doesn't come off and we'll talk about some of this later as well so let's take a look at the anchor itself so i have here uh the claw like anchor system and what I found out from uh, using it in the water is that you need to definitely have an anchor chain to it. I know this is not the ideal way to do this. Uh, by right, this uh, chain should be tied to this part here. And then at the top here, you use a ziplock tie to tie to um, the higher part of the chain. So if it ever gets stuck, the ziplock uh, uh, lock will just break away and you're able to just pull the anchor from this side. But you know, it's uh, for this anchor itself. It just doesn't. This part is just too big. Doesn't fit into this hole. And for my purpose, I am fishing basically in the uh, lakes. We don't have huge rocks. I've used this, use it this way for many years, and I've never had the, uh, the issue of it getting stuck. So I'm just being lazy, doing it this way. But if you want to optimize, uh, you can definitely you know put 
uh, the chain to the bottom of the anchor uh, to do it the proper way the next thing that you want to do is to connect this is a diver's uh, reel or anchor reel I like to use this because uh, it actually helps to keep your line uh, neatly wound up inside this reel so that you have less thing to worry about when you're in the, the kayak um, and you might look at this line and say that, oh you know this line looks really thin would it be able to support you know the weight of the anchor with the chain and if it gets stuck so would it would this line break i've used it once in the water i've tried uh, many tests on it it really holds up quite well and i like this system because it has this uh, release tab and what it does is that when i click on this you know it will just release uh, the anchor so you know it helps in that sense uh, but one bad thing about this reel this diver's reel is that uh, this thing doesn't work very well when I try to turn it doesn't pull um, the anchor back and so I have to use my hands to manually pull this line up which is not too bad and uh, this whole thing is just very small and very compact so I like that again I'll put links uh, in the uh, YouTube video so that you could you know get the same one if you like and then after this uh, diver's reel what you want to do is put a short line uh, maybe about one or two feet connected to uh, this buoy and the buoy you would see in a short while as we get into the water right is to help us uh, see and mark where the anchor is so if you need to ever release uh, from the anchor you can come back and pick it up later and again this is something I got from uh, Dix. Uh, this is, and also one more point about the buoy is that you want something that is pretty big so that you could see from the uh, water surface when you paddle away, you can come back and grab it. So something that's bright, something that is big would be ideal. And the final part is you want to connect the outer end of the buoy with a four to five feet uh, anchor line again to this rubber uh, I would say it's called a bungee but not really but this thing is a rubber strap and this thing I got from you know it, it stretches very well it's basically it has an ass uh, hook at the edges when it first got it from the store but I found it to be hard to use so what I did was to connect uh, two pieces of zip lock uh, zip ties here right to the line and you will see later this is to basically provide some stretch you know if the anchor were to pull uh, on the boat at least you have something that's elastic to absorb the shock so that you don't get sudden jerks uh, as you anchor down or if the wind is blowing you away All right so let's get into the water uh, let me show you how to deploy um, this anchor system and you get to see you know how do you launch it how do you retrieve it okay folks so now here in the water and what we'll do to launch the anchor is first of all on the string or that rope that you have tied on your anchor cleat you want to um, take it out have it uh, with you and the next thing that you want to do is uh, take the anchor here right. What I do the anchor is I place it on my left side that's uh, easy for me to reach and uh, with an anchor in front of you what you can do is uh, first of all uh, with this anchor rope let out some line right here I'm actually looking at somewhere like six feet to possibly ten feet of water I'm just gonna let out sufficient line to get that level but you don't want to get too much it's fine because later on uh, you can use the reel to drop uh, the line the anchor down and so what I would do is go ahead right, put the anchor here slowly into the water right let it down slowly Once you get to this uh, anchor reel, what I would do is hold on to it, right? Hold on to it, like so, 
and then you can feel that the anchor is still sort of not to the bottom and this is where I'll just click on this let it drop right so it will drop all the way down and when you feel that there's no more tension you know it has hit the bottom I'll just let out a little more right because usually you need a little more line and the prescribed amount is typically two times the the depth that you want to drop at so with that you can also drop this uh, I'll let out a little bit of more line right probably uh, 10 feet of line and then drop the whole reel inside uh, followed by the buoy as well the buoy is going to tell you where your anchor is sitting and with the and you could see the buoy is just floating back because the wind is blowing my boat forward um, and then finally hold on to this rubber strap and then this is where you pass in that anchor line that you're going to strap to your front through this rubber part right like so and then you can release it right? you can release it and this thing will just naturally you know, go to the back you don't even have to touch it if you don't want to uh, the force will just take it there and then from there you tie this line to the anchor cleat right i'll give you i'll show you a different view later on right all right folks so here's another view of how i tie um, the loop so you can go around one or two times once you do that you can loop it loop the loose end around right like so into one of the previous lines and just pull tight right with that your anchor is set you could sort of see that this line is just hanging by the side of my tuck pack and the anchor is just seated at the back like that right it's not going to interfere uh, that line is also you know secured anchor it's there and I can go ahead just sort of take this uh, fishing rod and start to fish the front part right that way the hooks will not get caught up in uh, the line here all right so to release yourself from the anchor you know in case there's some you need to get away from danger for instance you know a boat a huge boat is coming away you see a huge wave uh, once you can quickly you know do this quick release by just taking this out right removing this and then that's it you know you are done you can let go of this line and get away uh, but for the purpose of this video, I just want to hold on to this and also to show you how you can uh, de-anchor yourself, right? What I would do is I'll just pull on this line, you know, allow myself to go back uh, to my anchor system. And then here, I'll be able to get hold of this rubber loop. loop. You know, once you hold that, you have access uh, to this this anchor and then basically you just have to pull it you know pull it back right uh, I'm holding on to the camera so I'm a little slow doing this but uh, you can see it's easy you can just pull it back here and what I would do is just you know because space is very limited on the kayak so what I would do is just as I pull stuff out you know I would put it towards the back and I'll, I'll the kayak like so right and here this is the part where it gets uh, tricky you have to use your hand to pull this it's not uh, you know this wheel I've turned it before doesn't work so well and so I'm gonna use two of my hands I have to let go of the camera here all right so I have the anchor wheel here all right I'll pop it to my left side and this is where I start pulling Right. Don't worry about the line getting tangled up. This line is pretty good in terms of not tangling up. So let's pull it up uh, bit by bit. Right. It requires a little force, but you know your tuck tech is stable enough for you to bear the weight uh, of pulling the anchor. Right. So you don't have to worry too much about that. So let's pull up, and as you pull up, you can put the line by the side. Right. It also helps if you have gloves with you, you know, fishing gloves or whatever kinds of glove. It's going to help you um, get a grip, better grip on this line without uh, any tension, tension burns. 
friction burns and I've got to the chain of the anchor so I can just pull it back up as well All right. and that's it once you have your anchor you know you're basically done you know you've uh, de-anchored yourself I'm gonna just clean up the anchor because it caught some sand and some silt from the, the bottom and I don't want uh, too much sand in my kayak so cleaning it off and then get back and if you want to make things a little you know, uh, less messy on the kayak you can this is where you can start drilling things in so once you have your anchor back you can start turning this reel right just gonna keep the line nicely inside and you can see you know, it doesn't tangle as easily like some other line do so I would turn it all the way in yeah, just to keep things neat and tidy in the kayak and then there you go you're done right so I hope this you know tutorial is helpful for you to figure out your own way of making a uh, quick release um, anchor system for your top tech kayaks and I'll see you in the next one